Bismillahir Now we will discuss Oedipus Rex as our tragic hero. Our first point is related to his courage. He has courage to answer the riddle of Sphinx, and when his city becomes the victim of calamity, he himself comes forward to listen to the chorus. Number two. Oedipus' acquisition on Creon and Tricias shows his suspicious nature. At one point, he suspects the originality of Oracle after listening King Polybus' natural death. Number three, he is a proud person. He is proud of his bravery that is God-gifted, but he considers it his own acquired talent. Number four point, number four is related to overconfident. His ability of confidence sometimes exceeds its limit and it changes into a drawback as he showed brave, bravery in the act of killing lawyers. Now come to our fifth point that is about strong personality. His natural faculties make him a strong personality. His good nature, his ability of truthfulness, his way of investigating the murder, all these change him into a strong personality. Number six, victim of chances. In fact, he becomes the victim of chances. It is a chance that he kills an old person in spite of the fact that he may kill his father as he is killing a person old enough to be his father and he is going to marry a woman old enough to be his mother number seven here i will describe aristotle's concept of hamartia because without it a tragic hero cannot be possible while describing Oedipus, mentioning Hamartia is important. Hamartia is error of judgment and any moral flaw. These both must be present in a tragic hero's personality. According to Aristotle, a tragic hero must belong to a noble family. He must have Hamartia. He should have downfall from prosperity. With this last concept map of Oedipus Rex, I am going to wind it up. Please comment if you want to learn more about this play and just subscribe my channel for more information and also press the bell icon for such type of more videos. Thank you.